Nice guy, performs all over, and uh, you've seen him on a Domino's commercial. Please put your hands together for Jose Barrientos. <laughs> And it's actually like, it makes for a really awkward first date, you know, because I'll take a girl out. <laughs> yeah, and I'll, she'll be like, oh my gosh, this place is so nice. And I'm like, thanks. And then she claps. How are you? I see you've moved on. Whatever. So, as your gracious host said, my name is Jose Barrientos. Here's what's BS about my name. My older sister's name is Destiny. Yeah, right? Where'd the creativity go, Mom? You know, like, I picture my mom was like, this one will be Jose. He's sure, easy to remember. How many more Jose's can there be? Jeez, hey, on my way over here, I was listening to the radio and I, I was listening to Rumstein. You guys Rumstein fans? No, they, they do that. They, they do that. Yeah, have you ever talked to a German person though? They don't speak that way. They should redo the song. It should be a little bit more realistic. It should be like, Du! Du hast! Du hast mein Chef, mein Chef. Wouldn't that be better? I think that'd be better. Alright, so I got, I, I got a new roommate. It's, uh, it's my mom. <laughs> laugh it up, laugh it up. She's awesome, you know, she cooks, she cleans, she's unlike any roommate I've ever had. You know, the only thing is now I get knocks at 2am, like, Jose, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> she cares about her little boy. But she, you know, obviously English, I don't know if you can tell, uh, English is her second language, so she, sometimes she says things and it really trips me out. We were putting the furniture around, you know, in the, in the living room, and she's like, you know what, Jose? We should get some hookers for this place. <laughs> You know what, Mom? Yeah, we should. <laughs> yeah, you know, so that way I can hang my plants. This... Oh, hooks! Oh, you mean hooks! Oh! You know, it changes the dynamic. <laughs> Mother, what is, what is this? Jeez, you know, she's, uh, she's cool. She... I don't know, she, the thing is, like, you know, I'm Mr. Fix-It now. You know, I'll get phone calls. Randomly, I'm hanging out, like, Brrrr. Hello? Jose? Hey, Mom, what's going on? Listen. I thought I watched Titanic. <laughs> And some guy keeps talking over the DVD. I don't care what he has to say. <laughs> DVD commentary, mom. Pop out the DVD, push it back in, don't press any buttons. My boy is so smart. <laughs> oh, she's pretty good. I, she, you gotta give credits when you're a comic. You're coming out, they're like, this guy's performed it, blah, blah, blah. I really, I'm, you know, I perform everywhere, but not, I'm nobody special. So that's why I was like, I've been in a Domino's commercial. It's not, it's not comedy related, you know? It's, but, and, I, and it's not even because I'm a good actor. I just look at a dude who could eat. A pizza. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, like the last three seconds. I mean, I am, I am enjoying that. I mean, Robert De Niro couldn't have done better eating that pizza. You know, it was, it was epic. But that's, that explains my credits. If you're a little confused as to you've seen me at Domino's commercial, it's not <laughs> comedy related. But uh, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been dealing with insomnia, or as I like to call it, Netflix. You guys, you guys suffering this? Jeez. Tell you what, that Netflix is changing my life because. You know, when you had to pay for movies individually, you would pick something that you really wanted to see, right? You wouldn't waste your money on. But with Netflix Instant Download, I'm watching stuff like Home Alone 5, <laughs> Bring It On 17. Did you know there's a Titanic 2? Yeah, there's a sequel. And I've seen it. I know. I know. I also, I saw this movie called Frozen. Here's the premise. It's these three kids, they're on a ski lift. They fall off. They get eaten by wolves. Why is that movie called Frozen? <laughs> that movie should be called I Fell Off a Ski Lift and a Wolf Hit Me. It's making sense, you know? <laughs> also, I've been watching a lot of uh, zombie movies. You guys know the zombie movies? Woo! Right? Here's the thing though, you ever notice no one in a zombie movie has seen a zombie movie? <laughs> it's always like mass confusion, right? It's always one guy like, I don't understand. Steve got bit and then he fell, right? Then he got back up and he bit Jessica and then she went down and then she got up and then she tried to bite Jesse, I don't understand. It's fucking zombies. Are you kidding me? That's like the only genre that you can do that with. Everybody, like, like, uh, if Godzilla attacks Japan, God forbid, people know it's Godzilla. You know what I mean? It's not like... Hello. Hi, I don't know. I don't know. 
I did this joke the other day, and, and somebody from the audience said, was like, that's not funny. Godzilla is not, and I was like, whoa, whoa. Godzilla is a legitimate Japanese icon. If I'd have brought up Mothra, then maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. I try, you know, I tried to stay away from the Japanese. I went and I got sushi, you know, and I ordered the tsunami roll, and shit got awkward real quick. Like, okay, I give you tsunami roll. <laughs> yeah. People were not, they were not happy. So I saw this show the other day, there's this woman, uh, you know, they, they reenact real things. This woman got possessed by a demon. And she calls to get help, but the demon sabotages her. Here's what the phone call was like. Bring. Hello? Hey! Hey, Mary, what's going on? This and I... Nothing is wrong. <laughs> Just takes over. Yeah, I know, right? Freaked me out, too. But then I started thinking, like, what if someone else called, right? And because the demon doesn't know phones, accidentally switches over. Right? And now, you know, it's like some girl calling another girl, and it's like, Hey, what's going on, man? Wear the blue shoes. <laughs> Start getting dating advice from a demon. Like, Jonathan says he's gonna be there. <laughs> You're better than that. You go, girl. <laughs> oh, demons. <laughs> demons, I tell you. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, uh, but women love me. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just getting a lot of that vibe. It's making me a little nervous. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm kind of a nervous guy. I went to Vegas not too long ago, and uh, I walked into an elevator, and there in the corner is my idol. I'm sure you're all familiar with Christopher Walken. Yeah? Okay. Now, here's the well, when I do this for my relatives in Mexico, I'm like, yeah, you know, from Catch Me If You Can, the two mice fell in a back of the tree, and they, you know, Dos ratones se cayeron. Oh, that guy. So, so man, hey, I don't know what to say to him, so the only thing I can think to do is to talk to him like him. So I was like, oh my god, are you Christopher Walken? Yeah, who the fuck are you? Nobody, I'm just a fan. You're trying to be funny? Funny man? No, I'm having a mini panic attack. Well, you better stop, because if you don't, I'll call security. That's okay. I'll call them back. Tell them it was a joke. You guys have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs>